welcome to my channel. Here we are again doing the end of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for my lovely Capricorns, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's get right into your reading, Capricorn. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of, or the end of October, beginning first week of November. Now your first card here, Capricorn, you have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is your energy, Capricorn. I definitely see you guys very focused. Some of you guys may be traveling. Others of you may be um, trying to attain or achieve a goal, something that you guys have been working on for quite a while now. Um, let's see what else. We have the High Priestess, Capricorn. Very intuitive type of card. This um, is the all-knowing and that which is hidden. Listen to your intuition, Capricorns, for the end of October, beginning of November. Your energy is going to be very receptive uh, to spirits um, coming through, um, whether it's your spirit guides or whether it's your ancestors. I definitely do see you guys very connected to this, so pay very close attention to that. Now, your third card here is the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands uh, could represent a fire sign. Fire sign would be an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. It could also represent um, being more confident in yourself and believing in yourself, Capricorn. Now, your third card here is the King of Pentacles. Okay. So, as we end uh, or prepare to end the month of October... We have you, um, again, like I said, it's almost like you guys have been tested, trialed and tested. You guys are still currently going through it. Fortunately for you guys, uh, you will be able to see things uh, manifest before you. Now, this is a love reading, but I am being prone, um, I am being pushed actually to say, for those of you guys that currently have been going through or have been trying to materialize some type of stability, you will definitely start to experience this in the end, or I want to say the first week of November. Um, you guys are going to be very abundant. You will have opportunities to put money on the side or to invest. Now is the time to do so, Capricorn. Now, when it comes with the Queen of Wands, this could be a male as well. It is a general reading. For some of you guys, I feel that this person is very much interested in you. Um, they've been trying to get your attention. Now, this is for those of you Capricorns out there that are single. Um, I feel that they have been trying to connect with you, but it's very difficult for them to decipher you. Or it's very difficult for them to understand if you are interested in them or not. For some of you guys, you may be distracted with the water sign. A water sign would be a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. Nonetheless, the High Priestess is here to tell you, listen to your intuition. People that are going to start to come into your life are, there is, um, it's not coincidence, okay? They're coming into your life for a purpose and a meaning. Pay attention to that. Those things that are not currently working in your life, now is the time to release and let go, Capricorn. Stop holding on to anger. Stop holding on um, to resentment from people from the past. You've learned this and you've already expanded. So let go of this and go into Again, like I said, the ending of October, beginning of November with a much more positive and much more focused type of energy. Now, the High Priestess, again, is here to tell you, listen to your intuition. That which you're wanting to know, you already know. You have the answer within yourself. You have to believe in yourself and be confident in yourself. For those of you guys that have been, again, going through difficulties in regards to your relationships or those of you, I should say, that are in a very, what's the word I'm looking for? Complex situation. For some of you guys that are dealing with people that are married or that have been, you know, that are legally bind to someone, um, but that relationship is not working, what the cards are definitely telling you, Capricorn, is, again, remember what, you know, what you start wrong more than likely is going to end wrong. So do not put all your eggs in one basket. Again, keep yourself, keep your eyes open, your ears open to listening to those that are actually trying to gravitate towards you. Give them the opportunity. And do not sit and wait for someone, especially if they are connected or if they are actually married, uh, as I don't see this ending very good. Um, 
the high priestess is definitely telling you that things will come out in the open and you will have much more clarity but until then it is necessary for you to understand that again if the person you know if they are currently in a relationship and it's just not working out then they just should not be with that person whatever they tell you whatever they're telling you um do not go off of what they're saying go off of their actions okay if i'm telling you i'm married but it's not working out am i putting effort and giving you time and am i investing my energy in you or am i just you know coming and going whenever i please and if that's the answer or if that's you know the situation then you need to walk away from that capricorn now for those of you guys that have or are um in a long-term committed relationship for some of you guys you may be dealing with the fire sign uh, sagittarius leo um or aries woman or male um what the cards are definitely telling you here is that yes the struggle has been difficult but you need to understand capricorn that it is necessary to understand or to, to understand this concept. And the concept is very, very simple. If your partner sees that you're currently struggling and going through difficulties, what are they doing to assist you in it, to make it better? Are they encouraging you? Are they believing in you? Are they going out of their way to help you when it comes to finances? Are they paying bills? Are they, if the answer to all of that is no, then the high priestess is here to tell you, listen to your intuition understand that you've been going through difficulties those difficulties are about to end when i put you on top make sure to understand that when you are able to and when you're willing to give to people and share with people are you doing it with the people that are deserving of it or are you doing it with people that are just around because you make it more convenient for them, okay? So you need to ask yourself these questions, Capricorn. Remember, we still have Saturn and Capricorn in your sign. So there is a lot of karmic type of endings and lessons that we need to go through that are no longer going to repeat, but you have to make sure that you learn from them, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, share, and comment. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe. And we'll see each other in November. Bye. <laughs>